All right, and that is a video of Files about guy and Dauda titled Boogie. We hope you enjoyed it. Today on the show, or right now, we have three lawyers on set who have decided to ditch their career in law and pursue other interests. But the focus today is going to be on one of us who has pursued his career in music. He's the first ever artist to be signed to the Bad Guys Records, and his name is Sir Dauda, and you just watched his video. Good to have you. Good Welcome. To have you. Good, to, good to be here. Leonard <laughs> Colleague. My legal bro. My legal, legal bro to be. Good to have you. Good to have you. Thank you for joining Thank us you. on the Thank show. You. Now, a while ago, we had your first Big Break video, but it's actually a delight to get to hear from you directly. Right. So right. at that point, you've gotten called to bar. Yes, sir. So at what point did you decide to ditch your career in law to pursue one in music? First day of law school. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, um, um, I've I'd always known for a long time that I was going to do something in the entertainment. I've always been a very artistically, artistically inclined person, I guess. So, um, but there, there's something about the law as well, which is art in its own, because it's literary art as well, mm. and it's also the art of human interaction, basically. So that is, I wasn't straying too far, but yeah, but yeah. Okay, um, so I, I'm, I'm, I'm tempted to ask you this question. Okay. Your study of law was yeah. it really what you really wanted? Or it's uh, an issue of, my son, you are Trying very to please somebody. <laughs> and you should do law. Um, okay, so it's, there's two parts to that answer. Of mm. course, I mean, based on where we are, African parents, Nigerian parents, they want you to have something that's structured and all those kinds of things. That yeah. was partly there as well. But um, my folks, they, they also wanted me to follow my heart, follow my dreams. And, and after one or two, in the beginning it was a bit difficult, but after I took them to one show, and they saw the reaction. They were like, "Okay, okay, maybe, maybe this is probably, maybe you can do this." Are as they well. lawyers? Uh, no, but they are professional. Okay. One, one of them is in the legal side. The other one is the medical side. All oh, right. Nice. Yes. And let's look at your music. At what point, you know, did you start this journey into music? And what would you say were some of your greatest key influences? Hmm. Uh, it's, uh, the journey to music started, um, I guess, when I was younger. From uh, I was one of those church kids. You know, I was in choir teenagers groups and all those kinds of things secondary school as well everybody i knew was into hip-hop um it was it was it was crazy we all loved uh, uh music at university i i discovered a different type of music i discovered spoken word as well mm -hmm. which is another level of uh, of the art itself um but like uh, uh act actually uh deciding to do this properly um w w when i was in university i was like yeah Things can be made, it, it, we can make a way out of this. And then I was looking at the Nigerian industry as well. Everybody was, things were popping and people were doing things, you know, Don Jazzy, the bunch, everybody was, these were inspirations, but, um, so I decided to do it. But like my own musical influences, um, I listen to, every, I've been blessed to have friends that have very good taste in music. So they just introduced me to one thing or the other thing that I haven't heard before, but like, um, I love music from the fifties. I love country music. Nice. I love hip hop. I love um, uh, R&B. Uh, I love world music. You know, I just, yeah, yeah. So it's a big combination. I try to, I try to put a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Okay, so how far is too far when it comes to producing a record? Mm. For example, people these days enjoy live performances a lot. Yes. And then we also have artists who have great hits mm. but can't actually do live performances. Live performances. Okay. So how far is too far mm. when you want to get a record done? You want to get a record done? I guess, like, so every artist has to decide. Every artist has to decide what, what kind of artist they want to be. In this industry, in industries abroad or wherever, you can be just a studio artist, and you might not really go on stage, and you just be writing and recording and, and playing your. But out here, we really have to pursue our music in person. You have to chase your music. You have to see your fans. You have to. Perform. I mean, artists out there do that too, but like, you have to here. You really have to be there in person. So when you're recording, I guess you also have to think about how do I perform this, what mm. will be the setup, uh, and all those kinds of things. But um, it depends on what kind of artist you are. It depends on what kind of music you play. It depends mm. some 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 kind of music. There's almost no music that can be translated into live performance. So you can you can it doesn't have to be one, either or. Okay. It could, it could be it could be both. Let's talk about your signing to the bad guy record. Yep, 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 yep. How would you say that has impacted your career, and how mm. did you get Files to notice you and to sign you up? Mm, okay, I'm interested so, in that story. Uh, okay, so I mean, he's a lawyer as well. Yes, he is. Um, so like, it, from back in uh, in in school times, in university times, um, I, I I met a person who was close to him. I met his sister. We became friends, and it was like my brother does music as well. I was like, oh, let me listen to it. And I listened to it. And I was like, that's very interesting. That's very different. 
because what, what was coming, this was Shakara, this was that, the first. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I was like, this is very different, you know. So um, we'd been communicating, we'd been having, yeah. And, uh, and uh, I've, I've, uh, I've been a fan of his music for a while, and he's been a fan of my music for a while, and we talked about it. It was something that was, was going to happen. I had a few things, the legal part, I had to finish law school, I had to finish lots of things. So I had to do all those things before actually coming into it uh, properly. But it's been, it's been something that was in the works for a long time. And how would you say that has impacted your career? It's impacted us a lot. It's impacted us a lot. Um, uh, Files, Files and Bad Guys Entertainment is like a powerhouse of music, you know, and not just music, uh, um, the, the acting side, the, the, the TV side and all those kinds of things. And that is very dynamic. I like the dynamism in their movement, you know. It's very, it's very, uh, it's interesting to have a person who is creative on so many different levels, you know. And I consider myself to be a person like that as well. So this, I, I found it to be a very good fit for me, you know. Oh. Nice. All right, let, let's weigh in a little bit. You know, we'll come to talk about your latest single, but okay. I'm curious to hear your thoughts on the Grammys 2019. Everybody's talking yo, about the Grammys. There's a drama yo. between Nicki Minaj and Cardi B, and it's as if there's, they're pitching artists against each other. So let's talk about Which competition is wrong. Which is in wrong. the industry. Yes. How do you see it? I mean, competition should be healthy. Competition should be healthy. I should see you, I should see what you're doing, and that should inspire me to do uh, better in my, own, in my own side. But I shouldn't see you and say, you know what? I'm going to, I'm, I, I don't like her because, or I don't like him because he does whatever. I think it should, it should be something that should, you should see this person doing this thing and it should inspire you, you know, to do something. So I think there was even, there was an, there, I think it was the BET thing that they said uh, something about someone they dragged, dragged they by came this. In yeah. by they the apologized though. Yes. They apologized because Kaya, Nikki's people came for her, uh, came for BET. But at the end of the day, words are like arrows. You release them, once you release them, They're you out can't take already. them back again. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. So, I mean, like, it shows, it shows that there was, a, there was a, a, mis, a miscalculation on their part. There was something that, that was something they shouldn't have done. But um, competition should be healthy. I was, I liked what Drake said, you know, I liked what J. Cole said. And uh, picking themselves up or picking other people up, you know, raising someone up shouldn't tear you down. Fantastic. Yeah. Great. Very true. Raising someone else up shouldn't tell you down because the sky is indeed large enough for all of us to fly. So like, yeah. oh, landlord by Sadawda. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's simply because though. Um, Did you consider that? I, I, at, at a point, but I thought Landlord would be more, would be more general, would be more relatable, I guess. Who produced that video? Uh, it was it's produced, beautiful, by the way. I appreciate it. It was shot by Mex. Okay. It was produced by Sizzle Pro. It okay. was mixed by Focus Ramon. All these guys are gangsters, so uh, they're very I really people. like the song. I, I like the, the vibe to it. I like the video as well. Oh, nice. So tell us about the song. What inspired you to write it? Landlord. Landlord was basically, this was me um, kind of, appreciating where I am versus where I've been, where I'm, where I'm going to, is an aspirational song. It's a song that talks about um, um, this, is, this is what my life is right now and this is where I'm heading towards. And because I'm here right now doesn't mean I'm not going to be there. Because mm. if we played it till the end, we'll be like, well, just because I pull up on Okada, doesn't mean, doesn't mean I wouldn't take a flight back. You know, it doesn't mean, I wouldn't, it doesn't mean you're not going to see me in those places just because we're here right now. And um, I think it's a, it's a thing that, it's a feeling that a lot of people have especially in our type of situation in Nigeria, in a type of situation in Africa, we all aspire to be bigger, we all aspire to be better. And, um, but in the meantime, give thanks for where you are. That's basically what the song is. Okay. That's, that's really a very beautiful message and a very Appreciate beautiful it. song. <laughs> in fact, I've even in my mind turned it to gospel song. <laughs> 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 Baba Landlord. Baba Landlord is yes, God. Yes, yes, yes. The, the ultimate the landlord, yeah. exactly, yeah. exactly. So, so it's, it's such a beautiful song. I appreciate it. Very quickly, flowing from the inspiration of that song, yes. what would you say when you look back in time, is the one thing, I know there's several things to be grateful mm. for, mm. but if you had to single out one thing to be thankful for, what would it be? Family, family, definitely family. Because sometimes, I, I, I mean, I will have gone left, you know, I will have missed it. I will have, a lot of things will have happened, but family is always there, you know. So don't take them, don't take them for granted, you know, show love to them as much as they do, as much as they show love to you, you know. It's, it's family. Okay. Family and good friends, too. Good All friends. Right. Okay. Actual, true friends, because they are hard to find. Okay, yeah, before we let you go, in a few seconds, what's your plan for Valentine's Day tomorrow? <laughs> oh my God! Oh my, please, anybody that needs, eh? <laughs> don't lie. That looking, See, don't lie. Eh, go ahead, go ahead. If you're looking for, a, if you want to rent a Val's boo. Oh God! <laughs> so you're single. That's what you're trying to say, in essence. Sadauda, <laughs> you look like an honest man. <laughs> don't do this. Okay, I'm not going to put him on the no, spot because no, he's my Leonard colleague. Thank you so much. Professional, professional, professional courtesy. Yeah, we'll talk about this later. Appreciate you know, but it. Thank you so much for joining us, Sadauda. We've been had been such a an pleasure. amazing time. You guys time. Are, love you guys are wonderful. Thank you so thank much you for so having much. me. Thank you so much. Check out his video. Follow him on social media. How, how can people keep up with what you do? Um, at Sadauda on Instagram, at Sadauda on Twitter. Um, the song is available on all platforms. The video is available.
available on YouTube. Um, just go wherever iTunes, go wherever you find music, you find it. All right. So to enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.